Servus. Danke auch für das Fest. Hi. Hi. Wie geht's du? Mit Konzert, mit Konzert. Ich mache es. Ich mache es. Ich mache es. Du willst es tasten. Okay. Das ist 6% sparkling wine, pet match. Um, first year this project's made. Totally dry, sugar free. Ah. Fresh, great color, love the color. Amazing. I've never drank a 6% wine actually. 7% is the lowest I've ever drank. We've tasted three wines and we've taken samples of all three of them. They've been outstanding. This one was a pet nap. So all of them have been sparkling wines. We're super excited to bring this sparkling, fresh, very, very low alcohol style to the U.S. Because it's not popular yet, but these guys kill it. It's so good. We're finally tasting the last wine of this tasting is a Riesling. It's super bone dry. And it's very unusual to find um, dry Rieslings uh, that meet our sugar requirements. This is like, this is like sugar free, like nothing. It's super bone dry. And um, it's very unusual. Almost always Rieslings contain sugar. Your choice. You said the cellar first, it was you. And you decide now, I ask you, you, we go for the warm cellar first or the cool cellar first? Which one's the coolest? Uh, we will see after. So you prefer the cool cellar first? I guess first? so, yeah, let's go to the cool one. Okay, so yeah. we use it both anyway. All right, you awesome. You go for the cool first. Very awesome. Nice. It's like 18 meters earth above, so it's just a straightly digged into also these conglomerate walls. Mm -hmm. And so this great thing on the wall. What's oh this is this is a very this is a very interesting I'm very happy about that. This is what we call cellar mushroom. Ah okay okay. Ah, okay. So th this is like um, a sponge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you have like an old cellar you have uh, where there is always wine in it in the cellar mm -hmm. in barrels and so on you have it around the whole walls. So during summer, it's very wet, and it's like it's, the sponge is like ah, it goes up, ah. but it's not wet on the barrels. You see here, it's so, it's too wet for me. So the mushroom yeah, really. absorbs the moisture. Yeah, and the opposite in the winter. In the winter, okay, okay. it gives it's moisture. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh, awesome. that's you... Perfect to the warm cellar. <laughs> Ich bin schon aus der This is a little empty looking warm cellar. All the pat nuts, they start fermentation here. So you can imagine uh, at the beginning or during fermentation, like everything here is a kind of a barrel pyramid. But now there are things already bottled, so that's the reason why it looks pretty empty. <laughs> We finished touring the cellars, and now we're about to go to the vineyards. Perfect! Franz, I like it. You know, we don't believe in irrigation. We think that irrigation weakens the vine. You're dry farmed here. Tell me about your thoughts on dry farming. Um, yes, there... At least there are more reasons for it, but I have uh, probably I have a nice example what I can tell you. So I compared the, the, the dry, like the, the dripping irrigations in vineyards very often to people lying in a hospital on the IV. So they're a kind of healthy kind of a life because they always get their, uh, their, their drips, they always get their, their liquids, what they need, but they're not robust by itself. Not exactly. robust. Yeah. You have to fight more at the beginning Oh, yeah. Because you have to get robust, of course. Uh, but then, if you're once robust, if the roots are you know thick enough, getting deep in the earth, so if there is like a few few months no rain, no problem for that. The small deers, oh. they like they like them a lot. Wow, uh, so because they're sweet, kind of sweet, and that's also another reason why we always want to have one row 
with a lot of green cover so that they don't have to go here, they can eat here. been an amazing tour of these beautiful properties that produce these beautiful grapes that produce these wonderful, beautiful, beautiful wines. A little bit more herbal, botanical stuff, healthy wine for, well, just drink and have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're about to go drink some of this. This is yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Awesome. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna yeah. chill too well. Come on, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really Good to have you here. Good to have you guys here. Great, great, So we just finished up at Christoph Hawk's winery right up the way. We're now driving to dinner, to have dinner with him and his wife. And this is kind of the final part of our relationship with the grower, really cementing that connection, making it strong, going out to dinner with them, tasting their wines with food and just sharing stories. Not about business, not just about connecting and having a friendship. So really excited for that. We're gonna taste some really authentic local Austrian food as well. Cheers guys, Frost.